Today on Faux Show Moto, we're gonna solve the issue of those ugly, unsightly hose reels. Those are terrible. We're gonna put in a Be Good Gain 115 foot retractable hose reel that we picked up on Amazon. We'll put the link in the comments area. Let's get this baby unboxed. like we got some instruction manuals, mounting screws. Oh good, I was just considering this a toy. Very good that they put that on there. Nice good quality plastic on there. Hose actually looks like it's pretty good. It looks like it's gonna kink. It wants to ratchet itself back in already, that's good. Sizable too. Brass fittings on both sides, I believe. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Got a nice mount. That's good. Let's give it a little a try here. Coming right back in. Oh, even comes with a hose. Connector here, spray nozzle. Looks like it's one of the multifunction types. That's good. It's also got a rubber grommet under there. That's good, no leakage there. Just like with any project, you're gonna wanna have the necessities. Always wanna have a Ryobi screw gun, tape measure, permanent marker, socket, ratchet. This is calling for a 10 millimeter socket and various drill bits, can't go wrong. Once you figure out where you want it mounted, you're gonna to wanna to take the mounting bracket and line it up, and then you can put in one screw, a little pressure to tell you where you need it to be. Perfect. Now that we have that one spot lined up, we know exactly where we're putting our screw, and that'll help us set up the rest of the mount. And of course you want to drill pilot holes in any woodworking project. That way you avoid the oh no, and you only end up with the faux show. I like to have two screw guns ready. One for drilling pilot holes, and one for drilling the hardware. The nice thing is both durability and affordability of Ryobi makes this very easy to attain. Use the supplied washer. Now that you've got one in there, you have the other three. I'm gonna drill three quick pilot holes and be in and out. Pro tip, anytime you're screwing something in, you always wanna try and go opposite ends. So if you want here, and I'll go right down here. Sometimes it's good at the end, just tighten them a little more by hand with a socket. Once again, do about a quarter turn, pass finger tight. The order doesn't really matter once they're already in. For sure. Another good thing about the G Good Gain, the spindle is metal or aluminum instead of plastic that most of these are. So we're just gonna drop it on here and then we'll be all for sure. Use a little plumber's tape when you're joining the spigot. Get it finger tight once again. Get the channel locks out.
Do yourself a favor as well. Grab these quick release hose ends made by Gorilla. I'll put the link in. Faux show. Now the Faux show moment has been brought to you by Ryobi and G Good Gain. Thanks for tuning in.